Hey guys, Big Ferg here. Um, I'm gonna. I just got the uh, mean mean melon um, blabbermouth graffiti Bart, um, and I wanted to put a clear coat, uh, you know, a coat coat of uh, clear epoxy on it. So I'm just gonna show you real quick how I do that. I use the uh, Devcon uh, 20 ton epoxy, and with this you want to make sure you get equal equal amounts. Sometimes these plungers will, um, you know, dispense a little bit more of one. So you try and keep it, try and keep even pressure on it. See that just shot out a little bit extra, so I got to compensate for that. That should be good. You want to mix this up really good. It shouldn't affect the uh, balance or flotation of this lure. I just I think it'll make it look really nice. So you mix it up. You should have about 10 minutes to work with this stuff even without thinning it um, but you mix it let it sit for a second make sure all those air bubbles are out of it then I just use a regular flux brush to put it on now your first coat you want to gob it on um, but while it's drying you want to make sure that it's not in one position the whole time it's drying so should let it sit a little longer but I'll uh, torch it if I get any air bubbles on it so you're just gonna coat it nice even coats but you want to get a good amount on there This is a little, a little tough because it's got the eyes and the ear holes there. Try not to get it on your, um, on your hook or the hook eye. I mean, you can always get it out of there, but it's uh, this is pretty tough stuff. This thing should dry up really nice. But I'm going to add this to uh, basically the unboxing of the last few Barts I got. Some really cool stuff. Skip is doing some great, great lures. And I'll show you a picture, you know, before and after um, clearing this lure. Really cool looking part. I think this will do well. And I, I like this without the skirt on it. I think it's, uh, you know, in open water. It should be, should be pretty killer. So I'm just making sure. Hitting every little spot here. Gotta get that mouth real good. There's some little crevices you you always want to get in. You want to get it over the whole thing, and then your brush strokes disappear as this dries. So looks like I got. I think I got it all. I'm just gonna check real quick in my light here. Just one spot. Now I don't have a, you know, a, a tree, a spinning tree or anything. And you don't really need that if you're not doing a, a ton of clear coating on lures. I do some. But I just basically alligator clip this. 
and I hang it to dry and I just keep checking on it. I keep rotating it, make sure the coat, you know, is even. Alright, so there it is all cleared and I will show you guys when it's done. I give it, I usually give it at least 24 hours to dry. Um, but I don't know if, that's a marker there, I don't know if it kind of bled the marker or what. But I know Skip put a, a layer of lacquer on this, so. But we'll see how it turns out. And I'll get back with you guys soon. Show you the finished product. Alright, so here it is. All cleared and dried. Nice hard clear coat on it. Came out pretty sweet. That's one mean blabbermouth bar right there. You guys can see that shine. Sorry about my voice. I'm uh, battling a cold here. <laughs> The only place I got some air bubbles is right at the end here. But other than that, that eye. Nice, hard, clear coat on it. Came out really cool. Very happy with it. And it did not affect the balance of this lure, the flotation of this lure. Just really happy with it. Um, I'm going to just go through real quick um, what I've gotten since then um, from Clatterbrat. I'm going to start with the uh, micro jigs. This is kind of a box that I'll be taking to the creeks and you know the ponds and smaller bodies of water I fish. Um, but these things are going to be killer. Cold water. That's like the Red Widow ball head. Um, see that's brown craw, nice finesse cut, football head. This has uh, rattle bands on it. I'll probably cut one of those off because I, I probably wouldn't put more than one uh, rattle on these, if, if at all. This one, this color, does really good for me. Green pumpkin, red. These jigs look great. This color too. This is the hot craw. It's the orange, gold flake, green pumpkin. And uh, Skip actually did a couple. Like this has the green, or the orange at the top, at the finesse head, and the green towards the bottom. Really cool looking jigs. Now this is what I used to fish when I wanted a nice light jig. Small jig. Those bitsy bugs. Strike King. So I got some of those in here and sometimes I'd put like a double rattle. Or I made these up. I'd take a double rattle band. I'll put a swivel on each side and then a little willow blade. Got gold and silver. And I got extra rattles and stuff. And I got some uh, little soft plastics. This is a cool little trailer. It's called the Joker. It's got those three legs on it. White and chartreuse. Uh, Skip sent me a couple. This is kind of like a twitch tail minnow. Bobby Garland. Uh, what else? These are cool. Kind of got like those tentacles. It's like a shad color. Black on top. A lot of sparkle on the bottom. This is a good looking one too. Black football head with the camel muck skirt. Really cool. Ball head with the glow skirt. This has got rattle band too. Like I said, I'll probably just cut one of those, line it up so the rattle is in the back, centered right down the 
line of the hook. Uh, so that's those are the micro jigs. I think those will be really good cold water. You know when the season starts up. All right, on to the barts. Um, this is dark green frog bart. It's got that black modeling, black flake, and kind of like a metallic green belly. And this has, it's like that blue chrome skirt and the uh, blue craw. Cool looking skirt. And that's got the loud rattle. And another frog pattern. This is white and black, kind of like a zebra. Zebra bark. Came out really good. Medium rattle. And the glow skirt. Then I got another Death Dealer Black with one of the new skirts. This is Ruptured Duck and Chigger, I believe. Just a little bit of chartreuse on the tip there. It's got some almost purplish flake in there. Pretty cool. Loud rattle. That and this bed to the bone. We got a little red dot on the belly there. And Tabasco skirt. These are really the only two barts you would need color wise. Um, in my opinion. Uh, top water frogs. I'm either throwing something light or dark. Um, stuff like this. This is the baby bass. These won't be available to order anymore. These custom ones. That's got a double loud rattle in it. Um, or like the horsefly bart. All metallic. You guys have seen that. So those really won't be available for order. But I'm sure uh, Skip will be making them and putting them up for auction. Or putting them in the monthly giveaway. Uh, so if you guys aren't fishing bart you got to get one because he does do monthly giveaways and he'll give away free lures um, if you win that monthly contest um, now this is a baby bark oh nice catch there <laughs> um, this is tarantula baby bark it's not exactly what we envisioned when we talked about making this um, or skip making this um, but it came out even better than I even thought uh, got some flake on top there if you can see it's tough to see but that black at the base is like orange and black swirl with a nice um, that yellow is a nice bright yellow and then if you look at it this way it looks like a couple fangs um, like a tarantula and then, of course, the tarantula skirt, which is a really cool skirt. So that's tarantula baby bark. And then I got yellow corn baby bark. And this has got the green, nice color green, a little bit of flake on top, medium rattle in there. There's a medium rattle in the tarantula, too. And then this skirt is the uh, cobalt blue spatter pretty cool now these these baby barts have that three uh, hook when the standard bart is the five uh. so now now skip's got a bunch of lures I don't think I showed this one. Um, this is a tot bart, all gold. Gold does very well for me. I catch a lot of different fish on gold up here for some reason, I don't know. But that's a tot bart, and that's got that synthetic hair skirt. It's kind of like a olive green, almost. I don't know if that color's showing up right, but it looks really cool in the water very subtle uh, 
Let's see. Harvest Moon. This is the Harvest Moon Blabbermouth. It's like an orange. It's got that black spot. And then this skirt is a black with... It's got some green flake and looks like some red flake. So just really cool looking Bart. And this one also, the Blabbermouth has a 3 hot hook too. So, you guys got to get you one of these for sure. And the Harvest Moon Baby Bart. These things are going to be killer. Smaller profile. It's got that thin body section, but still the cupped mouth. This one's got the black dot, same skirt, medium rattle. But yeah, three, three hot, really sticky sharp eagle claw hook. Excited, very excited to fish these uh, baby barts. I think they're gonna do very well. I uh, just got a couple more here, I think. This is a soft black Elvis. Nice and soft there. Tons of gold flake. This is the hot craw skirt. Pick that because I don't know if you can see, but that skirt has gold in it too. So gold all around. Medium rattle in there. This is the Neon Frog bar, Baby Bart. Soft. Silent. Black skirt. And this has that glow powder. The phosphorus glow powder. So you hit this with a really bright light. And this thing will stay lit up for at least a half hour. Half hour to an hour. Maybe even more. Pretty cool looking bar black mouth with just a couple green spots on the top there and then this is hot pepper Elvis Bart tons of flake in this one and this is soft also and it's silent but it's got the pimento and chartreuse and red kinda to match all the flake a little crazy skirt Good looking bark. Soft hot pepper bark. I think the soft barts are gonna do pretty well too. And I got one more that came in the mail today. This this one I'm really excited about. That's pinky. Say hi to Pinky. It's got a little rubber tail. Now this this uh, micro mouse bark or peanut bar, I don't know what Skip's going to end up calling it. Um, this has a 4 out hook. But, if you can see there, that's a flat eye. So, when you're pulling this, twitching it along in the water, that nose is going to bob. It's going to bob up and down because of that flat eye. And I mean, this thing, that thing's tiny. Still got the coffin shape to it. Really cool looking lure. And that's that's pretty durable. I don't know how much that really matters, but I think it'd fish great without a tail too. But I, man, keep your eye on this one because uh this lure I think is gonna be pretty killer. I love the flat eye. And the nice thing is, I believe you'll be able to order um, a trocar. Trocar hook. This is just a, a standard um, eagle claw hook. Again, in 4 out, But you'll be able to get that trocar hook in that micro mouse part. I mean, if you see... How big that is. 
goes to my first knuckle there. Pretty cool. I think it weighs in about a quarter ounce. So you're going to use uh, somewhat light tackle. You don't have to go super light, but. So that is, that's what I got from Skip at Clatterbrat. And like I said, guys, if you haven't checked out this lure yet, highly suggest it. Um, pretty soon, I believe there'll be five different styles of Bart to order. Um, this was the last one, and now there's Big Bart. So, and it looks like maybe Rat Bart soon. We'll see. Um, but, like I said, if if you haven't checked them out already, go check them out. Uh, the guy's name's Skip. Uh, it's clatterbratlures.com. This is a baby Bart, but the original is Death Dealer Bart. That, that black one. That's the original. Death Dealer Bart. And I'll tell you, this is the most fun frog and lure right here and I really don't see a point to throw any other frogs just because of the design of this lure so like I said go check them out Skip is the owner he makes everyone by hand and uh, he's just a great guy um, I got I've had tackle coming in for the past week and a half and uh, so I'll have some videos coming up here and I got some I got a pretty cool video I'm putting together um, mainly about um, the master fly tire John T. Burke um, got some cool stuff from him some cool news too so uh, look for that and some unboxings I got some great deals on some stuff just want to share with you guys and I will talk to you guys later. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe, and uh, take it. See ya.